once strategic location of Kisumu by Lake Victoria, connected to neighboring countries through rail and sea, may be revitalized by the new railway being built from Mombasa to Uganda. Plans are being drawn up and funding is secured by Chinese investments. The first part, from Mombasa to Nairobi, has already opened and Kisumu will be the major station along the next part of the railway construction. The port facilities in Kisumu will be rebuilt and connected to the railway as part of a modern logistic system that eventually will cover a large part of East Africa. The property that belongs to the railway is land that was part and parcel of the old railway system, the railway that reached Kisumu in 1901. And that is what has been running for the last almost one century. And then uh, the railway became moribund because the technology was old, the tracks were narrow, the maximum speed for most trains was 60 kilometers per hour. So it would take like forever to travel from Kisumu to Nairobi, basically two days of traveling. And so that did not make economic sense for passengers who are using the train. Goods transport, of course, also took equally long. So the government of Kenya then managed to get funding from international financiers, and they're putting up a new railway track from Mombasa to Kisumu to Malaba, what is popularly known as SGR. SGR is basically a standard gauge railway, which is uh, an improvement on the rail system as opposed to the old track system that was based on the Indian gauge, which was much narrower, and hence we couldn't achieve the high speeds. The urban station community's approach is focusing on the support to local planning processes to stimulate the development of attractive station communities. It was developed by Mistra Urban Futures around a number of Swedish stations and the same approach may now be used in Kisumu. The plans concerning Kisumu can use the same focus on revitalizing and supporting planning processes to stimulate the building of an efficient transport region and the creation of a new station with direct impact on the community. The, the co-production is very important because um, we have the advantage of being researchers and have skills in terms of facilitating participatory kind of research. And that is the niche we are creating for ourselves. And we hope that we can be able to use this uh, special capacity to work with the county government in terms of mobilizing the citizens, in terms of uh, getting information, in terms of developing strategies for improving the urban station communities because all major projects in this country now is a requirement that you have public participation. And that then becomes our role. How do we facilitate this public participation so that we can have positive engagement to ensure that we are able to uh, build into this mega project that we think is going to change the economy of this area. And that we think is a very critical role.